I uh, think that digital learning is a critical tool for the 21st century. I think it is a tool to get to those first two. I think it's a means to an end. Uh, the governor and, and I and the lieutenant governor and many others believe that we can be the first state to be uh, full-on wireless, Wi-Fi, one-to-one. -one. So we need to get that infrastructure right. We need to make that investment. Um, and we need to take uh, places like the North Carolina School of Science and Math and what's happening in, in Mooresville with Mark Edwards. We need to lift up that excellence and disseminate it. Um, you know, this is, uh, this is all well and good to have tools like this, but um, it, it, unless you uh, are really serious about um, how to use those tools and fully deploy those tools and give teachers uh, what they need, um, it's, you know, it's just a glorified blackboard. I think it's about making targeted investments in, um, and I, I think there's a, uh, there has been, we have a history in our state, uh, and this has been bipartisan. Um, of a commitment to ensuring that we are uh, meeting the needs of our 21st century um, students, and that is a we're a wireless generation, if you if you will, and um, and I think we, in terms of the infrastructure, have made great strides to to meet that uh, goal of, of being one to one, being Wi-Fi ready. Um, again, I, as as I reiterate, I'll reiterate, um, you know, we um, need to ensure that. That it's not simply about hardware, um, and that I think those kind of choices about hardware and software ought to be um, largely um, left to those closer to the ground. I think there are some good tools out there. There's a menu of options. Um, we ought to we ought to be ensure that we um, um, test it before we buy it and have um, uh, quality controls around those things so that um, our districts and our uh, state isn't being taken advantage of. Um, um, but I think there's there's a lot of good tools out there, and um, and and I think in terms of what the, the state pays for uh, and what local uh, local communities uh, have the options to pay for, I think all that is, is part of the mix. And it's um, you know the one thing I will say though is again it's a means to an end, um, and, and it, what we what our priority is is that we we're using these tools so that we can have a seamless competency-based education and we can keep the focus on developing um, stunning talent uh, within our teaching ranks and, and within, uh, you know, and, and to have a clear uh, and coherent talent pipeline uh, through the principalship, uh, teachers, teacher leaders, and, um, and then um, all the way up to the superintendency, if you will. But, but uh, you know, my experience, I'll hit on, hit on this point again, my experience is, you know, if, if I was putting down chips, it would be on, um, it would be on getting the right people every time. And I think most business leaders understand that. Uh, people on the left and the right understand that. It's how you go about getting that um, that I think is, is where you, you will get real debate uh, and rigorous debate. And we should have those debates, but it should be all driven by what's best for students. And so, you know, digital learning is a piece of that. Um, it's, it's, it's a priority of the legislature, um, it's a priority of the governor, and it is not a magic bullet if, because there is not an education. I have to give credit to North Carolina on that point, slowly inching towards the one-to-one. -one. Um, the digital learning plan, I think, from a teacher's standpoint, is phenomenal. Um, it's going to work. Uh, I think, I think it, it's, it's not a replacement for teachers in the least. It doesn't push teaching into obsolescence, right? You still need quality teachers there, but it's going to work and, and serve to augment I think what great teachers are already doing. Um, naturally, teachers got to be taught how to integrate that. Um, and the fact still remains, it's uh, good teaching is good teaching, whether you're using you know, a chalkboard <laughs> and some chalk or whether you have the latest and greatest of the, of the technology that's out there. But uh, having, sort of acts, having, uh, having those sort of resources in place and having teachers that know how to use those can only benefit kids. I don't, I don't see how that hurts anybody. So I, I think the digital learning plan is great. I'm a big fan of it. Paying for it is something that I'll let somebody else figure out. Uh, but yeah, that sort of access to resources is something that we, we view as critical.